Say Madroflam here with an exciting tutorial and some basic effects you can use for montages in Halo 2, Halo 3, Call of Duty, any of them, I don't really care. So what we're going to do is go to the clip, press S where you want to split, where you're syncing it, where you're doing whatever you want. And then we're going to go to another part of the clip that is farther into it. We're going to press S again because we're hardcore. Then on the middle clip that you just cut out, we're going to hit the plus a sign thing, and it's event FX, color corrector, Sony color corrector, double click it, or click it, hit add, and okay, you know what, I'm feeling yellow, I'm feeling yellow, put the high to yellow, put the mid halfway up to yellow, and put the low just a tidbit up, because if you put it all the way up, it looks like a piece of crap, alright, so yeah, transitions, and if you don't know where that is, you go to View, Transitions, Alt-7, if you want to press that. That's the default. So we're going to bring that into the left side of the clip where you cut and the right side of the clip where you cut. Um, they should be touching. If they're not touching, make them touching. Because it just looks a whole lot better. So it goes like, it wipes across, and I think it looks pretty cool. Back to that, doing the same clip. I don't have many clips. Just kidding, I have a bunch. Um, yeah. This one's gonna use a bit of masking. And I'm feeling, feeling you're gonna hit the little box with the widgets. What is a widget? Anyway, so you click this little anchor thing up here and we're gonna click it a bunch of times around where you want the thing to show around the important part and keep it positive thing positive thing positive you should see that where you're, you masked and insert another video track and put that one above all right you want to paste this so there's two the one below you click um the event pan crop unclick the mask and so it should be normal again but we're going to click the top one, the one that you masked, event pan crop. This time we're going to hit position. Alright, so you go into the, the clip where you want to do your syncing or your just random eye candy effect, which no one likes. And you go to like where the big explosion happens or something, you know what I'm saying? You hit the plus thing and to the left and right of it is where you also hit the plus. Oopsie, you want to bring it pretty close, but not too close. You can adjust it however you want once you see the effect. You click the middle one, and you you can twist it, and you can zoom it. But you don't want to have these um, edges go past where you masked, which was the sniper scope. So, it'll look pretty good, you know. Just, you know, don't overuse any of the any effects, but... You know, it looks pretty cool if you do it like slow and you can make that a little more, you know, put a little schnazziness and that's basically it for the effects I'm going to show today. Actually, I'm going to show another effect. So you bring out your clip, go to uh, add effects and um, the little plus sign, color corrector secondary, click a little eye droplet next to select effect range and oops I don't want to click that yet because I'm going to go to the part of the clip that I want to um, how about right there nah not like that that's good alright so let's say we're going to mask the red I'm going to put it on the blue colorish, and I'm going to uncheck limit luminance put the high all the way up put the low all the way down and you can like use the mask and such and yeah and you can use the saturation to your advantage but uh yeah you can just play around with that for however long you'd like change the you don't want to change that actually don't want to change the hue center, but you can change the width to make it so everything that is remotely red is covered 